Today we're looking at the Raspad, a kit that promises to let you turn your Raspberry Pi 4 into a fully functional tablet computer. Sunfounder contacted me to see if I'd like one to review, and I definitely did. Opening the box, we find the assembly instruction sheet on top, which also contains a list of included components. Beyond that is a piece of foam, and then the actual unit itself. It's got a good weight and size to it, although it is thicker than a traditional tablet to accommodate the size of the Pi. And under the unit we find the various extension cables required to hook everything up, a screwdriver to do the assembly, and some heat sinks and a fan to cool the Pi down. Assembling the unit was super easy and only took a few minutes. I simply connected the various extension wires from the ports on the Pi in order to relocate them to the Raspad. Only one of the USB ports on the Pi ends up being used, as the Raspad has an integrated USB hub, allowing you to use the other ports on the Pi for whatever internal devices you'd like. And it comes with a sensor that slides down over the GPIO, allowing the unit to track the orientation for auto-rotation. Once the assembly is complete, you can simply install a microSD card preloaded with Raspberry Pi OS into the side of the unit, and fire it up. If you've done everything right, it'll boot up just like you would expect. Of course, Raspberry Pi OS wasn't built with a tablet computer in mind, so we're going to want to install some additional support software to get the most out of it. I started by installing the on-screen keyboard. First, I installed the onboard package. Then, I installed the SPI2 core package. And then from there I was able to use the drop down menu on the top to launch the onboard keyboard. Then to change the appearance and operation of the keyboard, you can select preferences, onboard settings from the drop down menu on the top. I enabled auto show when editing from the general tab. And then under the windows tab, I selected dock to screen edge. In the Layout tab, I chose the small one, which should take up the least amount of screen real estate. Then I chose the Darkroom theme from the Appearance tab. And with my changes complete, I relaunched the keyboard, and yeah, that looks quite a bit better. And of course, I'm going to be using this primarily with the touchscreen, which means I'm going to want to be able to right-click on things. So I started off by making sure all the supporting libraries are installed, and if you're following along at home, you'll find the exact commands in the description of this video. From there, I had to clone the git repo that contained the code for the right-click emulation. Then I switched to the directory that contained the code that I just cloned, and from there, I was able to execute a make to compile the code. Then it was just a matter of copying our compiled binary to the slash usr slash local slash bin folder, granting execute permissions to it, and finally editing the slash etc slash rc dot local file to add the right click emulation to boot up. With the lines added to the rc.local, I was then able to issue a reboot command to the Pi, and right-click is now enabled. Finally, we're going to want to install the support software for auto-rotation. I started by cloning the Raspad auto-rotation project. Then I changed to the created project directory. From there, I ran the Python installer script, and rebooted. And auto-rotation is now enabled. Overall, my initial impressions of the Raspad are pretty positive. It's solidly built, was fun to assemble, and easy to get up and running. And since it's Raspberry Pi based, it'll run all your favorite Pi software including RetroPi as a mobile gaming platform. In the near future, I'll be stress testing it to see how well the cooling works, and building a project that will go really well with it. Expect to see the Raspad in future Pi videos. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I'll include a link in the video description. Well, that's it for this one, but until next time, stay creative.